Danny, 3-2 defeat to today. How do you affect your performance? It's a tough one to take because I thought the boys were, were good for at least the point today. We had the chances to take those those opportunities to get us those points. And that's the disappointing thing because within reason, the game plan worked perfectly. But the switch off from a corner. And I thought we went a little bit too early, a little bit gun high too early, which left the space for Roberts. Um, but look, to the man, the boys were worked their socks off today. And, they, I, I believe they deserve more than what they got. Of course, four defeats in a row, it's not obviously what the fans want or expecting, so for you ultimately it's going to be disappointing, but we come away from it, you know, thinking that we haven't been a good performance today. Yeah, we, look, it's, we're not far away. We're talking, we just spoke in the dressing room and, and, and the, lads, the lads themselves are saying we're small margins and we're, we're so close. And you, I mean, you look at who we've played in the first four games, it's, I, I don't think we could have handpicked a worse start, and, and, and their next six or seven are the same. And But, with it, with no one, no one smashed us. No one's beat us comfortably. We've been in every game, and those small margins are the things that we've got to be better at and eradicate the mistakes. And so they'll, they'll be fine. This team will be fine. Obviously, Alfie came in for Christian at the start of the game. What was the thing behind that? Just Alfie's always had a, had a good time here, to be fair. And, and we, we we wanted to increase the energy. We thought we were a bit flat first half on Monday, and by the time we kind of got going in the second half, I thought that we could have done it a bit earlier. And that was what we wanted today. We knew it was. We knew they were going to have a lot of ball. They're a very good side. We needed people that could sustain the work ethic, and Alfie definitely epitomises that. Because of course, with the fans they have here, it's a big crowd, a big you know atmosphere to deal with. And we yeah, ruined the game for a majority of it. And to find ourselves behind in Carl was a bit of a sucker punch, really. Yeah, because we just we just got them turning. We knew that if we if we if we delayed them or we stopped them from playing, how they wanted to play. The fans would start to turn, and they did. You could hear some boos coming out of the crowd and stuff. So. But, and, and to know what, credit to the boys because we considered the goal and we could have quite easily melted and we didn't. We got ourselves back into it and, and we'll value for, value for our lead, I believe, when, when, once we score. Another goal for Corey as well. It's good for him just to get on the score sheet because we'll have time. Yeah, look, I think he's, he's, we know he can finish and I've already alluded to the fact that he, he got a little word in his ear from me when he had a couple of chances in the first half that he didn't take. And he, he, he's like, you owe us. Um, and there's a few out there today that I think they owe the lads a goal because we had the chances to, to score to get, get at least a point of the game. And they doubled it again just after half time with the well taken finish after Carl Campbell's mistake. Yeah, yeah, I, look, I, I, I think people are arguing for free kicks. I've seen them give them, I've seen them not given. And, and to be fair, I, thought, I actually thought the referee was relatively consistent throughout. And that, that's, you have to, but then what we do and we work on is not playing to the whistle, making sure that you play to the, to the, to the ball goes in the back of the net and then we'll talk about it. Of course, they do find themselves 3 2 up with Carl Roberts. It's a little bit disappointing having put ourselves back in the game. And like I said, does it think it's been a little bit of naivety and maturity for the players at times? Yeah, as I just said, I, th I think we went a bit gun ho a bit too early. I thought we, we, we didn't need to open the game up. There was a period of about seven or eight minutes where it was like a basketball match. And once we regained control of that and stopped that from happening, we were okay. But obviously, by the time we'd done that, uh, Roberts has scored his. Uh, Scored his goal and they were free to up, but the, like you, some of the players on show today were, were outstanding for them. And to, to contain him as long as we did, I thought it was a credit to the lads because they worked themselves off. And Wass comes on for his debut and could have you know, sealed should, it with the goal. Should have scored, uh, and, it, and that, 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 that's him. He knows he should have scored. Um, he had two, two, two attempts here, uh, and then Jacob should finish as well. So look, it, it's he's just come back in. It's going to take a little bit of time for him to get himself back into the, to the swing of things. But yeah, there's a lot of positives from today. Of course, we look ahead to the next game against Solly Hull at home next week. Yeah, and as, as I said, we just said in the dressing room, you, you perform like that week in, week out, you, you, this team will be fine. Um, it's, I know it's all doom and gloom in the minute because we lost four games. There's 42 games to go. I think we need to relax a little bit. Look at who we've played. Look at the fact that we've been in all these games. Um, the investment that's been made by those clubs and the fact that they've got a group of players here. We've got a group of players, young players. We've got Cavity boys making debuts against Notts County and coming on and affecting the game. We've got a squad of players that we're only going to get better. And, and, and as I said, I'm not worried about it. The points will come. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh!